Animo poor beggar ever. Animo, a woman of about 63, lived in a kingdom near the Indian Ocean. She had lost her husband, and two kids to war. At her age, she lived in a hut alone, about 15 kilometers from the seashore. Even though old, she was still able to go miles around each day begging for money and food. She would preserve some of the food and keep some of the money she collects for the rainy days. Everyone in the neighborhood knew Animo, she claims she is the poorest poor ever and goes nearly everywhere to beg. She went to the king's palace day after day, to complain to the king how poor she was, that she had nothing, no oil, salt, food to eat, soap to bathe, nothing at all. Whenever she complained the king would ask the palace guard to give her whatever she needed. She would go and come again with the same complaint. She did the same at road junctions and in the various households. Many people became bored with Animo's nuisance and tend to ignore her at times. They say she was even stronger than others and why was she such a nuisance? The fact that she lived alone didn't back her being in poverty. She can still do a bit of gardening. Children would also mock her on the way because she was always moving about and became so popular. Animo was a bold type, she was never ashamed. She would even go to the mayor's and governor's offices just to show how poor she was and how badly she needed help. Of course, she had received a good dose of help from these high places just because of the pressure she put in, disturbing all the time. Animo had a female friend, Jadu, who lived very close to her. She would scold Jadu time and again that she was very lazy and that is why she was not getting enough help like her. She encourages her to always follow her to places she goes and her life would not be the same, as she would experience a great change. Jadu was very reluctant to follow her proposal because she thought Animo was exaggerating the situation. Jadu was someone with a good conscience, who would not want to portray D image in society though she was poor. She advised her friend that though they are poor, it was not good to use their situation as a means of exploitation of others. She proposed they should jointly construct a small garden near their homes as a means to help make up for what others are giving them. Animo said she is too old and weak to do that. After a long time, the king could not bear Animo's nuisance anymore. One day he sent the palace messenger to announce to the entire kingdom that on the next traditional Sunday everybody should bring his slash her problems to the palace. On that day Animo, with her bag of troubles, which weighed about 12 kilograms, came first and sat right next to the king's throne. People with difficulties began assembling with their burdens. Some carried theirs in big baskets, some in very large basins, and some in drums. Many more arrived with theirs which would fill rooms. Some others haul theirs in U-Hauls. Animo saw that her bag of problems was the least of all the luggage of problems assembled at the palace porch that day. This was more than Animo could take. She secretly carried her tiniest bag of problems and cunningly found her way, tiptoeing through the back of the palace, onto a footpath that she followed hurriedly back to her home. Many who saw her tiptoeing, laughed in silence. The king came and asked, where is Animo? The guard said she had suddenly left with her language. The king was surprised but out of his wisdom, understood why. He then spoke and advised the whole community that had gathered to always pray to God and beg him for the graces they need to carry their crosses because some people have larger burdens to carry than others.